Thanks for joining me here on Garden for Cheap with your host, me, Rachel. Uh, I didn't do a video last weekend because the 14th was my birthday and we went to the lake. And I was going to do one. On the 10th, I made a little video clip of a, my zucchini plant that I've had vine borers in it twice this season. Well, I got to look and it looked like they were attacking it again. So I made a little video clip and I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. But at the end of it, I thought the plant was too far gone. And uh, I'll show you here in a minute and you'll see why I thought that. So here we go. Remember how I said that the zucchini plants had vine borers twice? Well, I ain't mistaken, but I think it has it again. See right there? There's a hole. Because when I did this dirt, I did it, I covered it completely. And you see how that's starting to rot? It means there's another little vine board in there somewhere killing my plant. So I'm going to pause this and see if I can't split it open and find him. Yep. I was right. Can you see him? Right there. I'm gonna get them out and kill them and pack this full of mud and see if we can save this plant again for the third time. You know what they say, third time's charm. Well, no, as I started digging into it, got to looking and it was way too far gone. They even had gotten a zucchini. So I had more than one thing attacking it. Ended up finding a couple of them. So, but that's okay. We got some babies. Maybe I'll get a zucchini, another zucchini this year, maybe not. But it's part of growing. Gotta take the good with the bad. Now that you saw that, you see why I thought the plant was gone. What I ended up doing is just cutting the dead part off. Cause I couldn't just see thrown away the the center was too alive so I just cut the dead part off and replanted it you know it was July 10th and I knew in a couple days that I'd be going to the lake uh, so on my birthday the 14th which was what four days later I watered it we went to the lake and then when I came back on Sunday I didn't water right when I came home because it was too hot but it was a uh, that afternoon I watered and it was still alive and I was like okay well we'll see what it's gonna do well today is July 23rd and which is 13 days later and let's take a look on what we found here we go I thought she was too far gone but I was wrong I just couldn't see throwing away since it looks kind of lively so I just cut the the bad part off where the vine boards had just damaged it and reburied it that was two weeks ago and you see there's new growth and she's still growing pretty amazed I might not get any zucchini off of it but it's not dead it was damaged pretty bad so I was surprised I mean it broke completely off so I just dug up the root dug it up put new fresh uh, soil in and replanted there added water and that was July 10th and today's July 23rd so still going strong I have my babies that are catching up as you've just seen in the other video clip and I uh, also transplanted my basil and that over there was the tomato plant that was in my aquaponic system the baby I planted it and my peppers they're not doing too shabby they would have done better if I would have tilled the soil better but next year I'm going to have a raised garden bed so I'm hoping for a better crop next year and this is my tomato plant it's still going strong still had tomatoes on it it's <laughs> taller than me so it's not too bad I put some Epsom salt on it the other day so I got plenty of flowers and I do have some tomatoes on it see them down there my other tomato plants they're not looking too good I think they have a case of blight or maybe it's just this triple 
triple uh, digit heat weather we're having. I replaced my corn with uh, black eyed peas because it was just dead. But I'm surprised it made it as far as it did. I've told you in the last video the windstorm would flatten it both times or two, three times. My onions and garlic are just about ready. They're not super huge, but considering they're not too bad. And my potatoes, I need to add some more soil to it because they're getting pretty tall. Carrots, eh, I'm going to have to redo those because they're just not doing. But my sweet potatoes are doing pretty good except for the bottom. I did some Epsom dip too, so hopefully the light leaves will darken up a little bit but and there's Gracie she loves looking under the fence but yep just wanted to show you guys two weeks later and she's still kicking pretty amazing plants are pretty resilient now if I can just uh, do something about these vine boards I'll be really good huh there you go How good one. things still growing anyway I'm gonna just let it go and see what it produces next year i've done some research and there's some companion planting and it's gotten good reviews and or mixed reviews some say it works some say it don't but i'm going to try it there's like onions garlic and radishes that you can grow that supposedly deter it uh the vine bore uh this there's another lady that i was watching her video and she says success using uh cucumbers growing her cucumbers right next to her squash or and her zucchini and i'm going to try that there's also I've read uh, traps like yellow sticky tape or a bowl, a yellow bowl of dawn water because I guess the yellow kind of represents the, the flower of the, the zucchini plant and the squash plant. Anybody who's ever raised any kind of squash or pumpkin or any of that, they all kind of basically have that beautiful yellow flower. But next year I'm going to be doing a raised bed, so I'm going to map it out and I'm going to try to have the zucchini on the inside and the cucumbers and the radishes and the garlics on the outside. Not try not to crowd it but you know what I mean anyway well I'll video and y'all can follow along with me on that but anyway I'd like to go ahead and end this video saying thanks for all the birthday wishes it really made me feel special it's probably one of the best birthdays I've had in years and the lake was gorgeous and um, God bless peace and if you like this give me a thumbs up subscribe and have a good one have a great weekend.